Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got another Korra Korra leak to go over for the Pokemon Journeys anime. We also have some new potential updates to the four leaked legendary Pokemon for Scarlet and Violet. Plenty of stuff to cover today. So if you're excited for the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, the first thing that we're going to go over is the new Korra Korra leaks for the Pokemon Journeys anime. We, of course, already covered a lot of the Korra Korra leaks for October's issue, um, but this was another page that kind of was posted later on. Um, either way, it's just about the anime. Um, it was posted by Poke Experto saying, Images of Go and Cinderace from the Pokemon Journeys anime from the October issue of Korra Korra magazine. So, uh, yeah, it's just Go, Cinderace. I guess this is just kind of like a um, a memory or something of Go and his score bunny. You've got Cinderace here with three Nickets. Uh, you've got Wobbuffet there. you got Ash as well. Grookey there. Nothing crazy, but again, just a few screenshots of an upcoming episode for the Pokemon at Journeys anime. Um, so that's that. The next thing we're going to go over is, of course, Course, all of the new kind of potential information for the four leaked sub legendary Pokemon for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. So, if you are not aware, um, as well as Coriden and Maridon, there are also going to be another lot of legendary Pokemon. Uh, it's going to be four of them, just like the Tapus. Um, we know a lot about them and stuff, and it's going to be kind of all in this thread here by Pearl Enthusiast. Um, but either way, yeah, there are four new sub legendary Pokemon for Scarlet and Violet. And they're not really inflicted with like the story or anything like that. Apparently, they're going to be really hard to find and capture. But either way, let's go on to this thread. So again, it was posted by Pearl Enthusiast, so shout out to them. And they said, since I'm excited about these Pokemon, specifically the Dark Portrait of Scarlet and Violet, I will now do all the obvious thing and make a thread and uh, on these four legendary Pokemon. So say, uh, some of the confirmed details about them. So the first sub legendary Pokemon is gonna be dark ground type and it's gonna be based on a deer and it's an evil deer spirit. All of these legendary Pokemon are dark type. So they're all seen as like evil, I guess, spirits or something like that because I think dark in Japanese is evil or something like that like the dark type is known as like evil in Jap japanese or something like that but anyway the first legendary is obviously going to be the deer uh the second legendary is going to be dark fire and that's going to be an evil fish spirit which is quite interesting that it's a fire type even though it's a fish and then the third sub legendary is going to be dark ice and that's going to be an evil leopard spirit and then the fourth sub legendary is going to be dark grass type and that's going to be based on an evil snail spirit and then obviously thanks to these people and the code cracking server for working this out in august so yeah that was all posted in august we already know about that information however though they are evil spirits and likely their names will be hard to pronounce if you are english but they'll probably make an easier way to pronounce it. Their ability debuffs something, uh, but I will give a bet and say it works differently to a normal intimidate slash debuff, but I'm not sure. So yeah, as well as the um, kind of typings and stuff and the actual things that they're based off, uh, the abilities of these legendary Pokemon have also been leaked as well, and they all debuff a stat. Now we covered this in a previous video when it was first leaked. I personally think that they're all going to debuff like a different stat. So we already have Intimidate as an ability which debuffs a physical attack stat. But I think because there's four other legendaries, um, I think it's going to be like Beast Boost where they all have the same ability, but it works differently depending on the Pokemon. So uh, for example, the, uh, the deer could have the ability that debuffs the physical defense stat. The, the the evil snail could have the ability that debuffs um, the special attack stat. The fish could have an ability that debuffs the special defense stat. And then the, the leopard could have an ability that debuffs the speed stat or something like that. Because we've already got Intimidate, so it's unlikely for them to debuff physical attack. Um, but anyway, we have two theories on these Pokemon here. So theory stuff, uh, they could all be sealed in certain objects. So we know that these Pokemon are quite difficult to get. That's been leaked. And the way to get them is very, like, strict. And um, yeah, you got to do loads of stuff to get them. So they could be sealed in certain objects. And maybe you have to do a bunch of quests to activate a certain quest. And then with that quest, it then allows you to get an object, which is what the legendary Pokemon is in. Because if they're evil spirits, they might be trapped in like a jar or something like a genie lamp. And you have to kind of get that object. And that allows the Pokemon to come out of 
the object and then you have to battle it and then you can catch it. Something like that would be really cool. Also, it'd give you something to work towards as well instead of just going to a random location, the legendary being there. I think a lot of people would benefit off there being like a ton of quests that you have to do and you have to actually work for the legendary Pokemon because we're always just used to getting legendary Pokemon for free now. I mean, in Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, we literally got a Jirachi and a um, Mew for free uh, just for having like previous games and stuff. But yeah, I'd like it if we had to work for these legendaries. And then as another one is that the all these legendary Pokemon are related to seasons. So we all know legendary Pokemon have multiple origins. So there is the chance that they are slightly based on the four perils. So this is kind of like the seasonal um, theory for these legendary Pokemon. So this was posted by uh, Courage and they said, I have an interesting guess that the sub legendary may also be based on the seasons. Snails are common animals in spring. Goldfish are summer animals and deer are autumn animals in Japan and snow leopards are reminiscent of winter. So this is actually a really good theory, which a lot of people think will be the case um, because seasons are in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. So as you can see, the snail is for spring. The, the goldfish is for summer, the deer is for autumn, and then the leopard is obviously the winter one. And we know, as I said, seasons are in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet because this was leaked by um, Kaka saying the system of the seasons of the fifth generation resumes in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And obviously we know that dealings in the game and stuff, so obviously that's a, a Pokemon to do with like seasons and stuff. Um, of course, we also know that time doesn't necessarily work like real time in these games. It's very much like, again, it's been leaked that it's going to be like Pokemon Legends Arceus where you can kind of skip time and stuff. Um, so it's not going to be like real time at all, which obviously makes it a little bit more difficult to have seasons and stuff. So what that probably means in regards to the seasons is that a different location of the map is going to be based on a season. So obviously at the top of the map of Paldea, we have like the ice gym and stuff and it's clearly all frozen and everything. And that would be representative of winter. And then like the desert could be a representative of like summer, etc, etc. So like the different parts of Paldea will be like kind of seasonal. Uh, and then that's where the legendary Pokemon will reside. So again, at the top of the map where it's all like frosty and stuff, that's probably where you're going to see the snow leopard. The desert's probably where, you, I mean, can't really say that you're going to see the fish in a desert because there's no water. But you know what I mean? Like maybe it doesn't even use water because it's a fire type. Maybe it goes underground or something. Um... You never know. Um, but that's one really, really cool theory about like the seasons and stuff. And this was also tweeted out by um, Soul Silver Art saying, Scarlet and Violet Leaks, a super idea. Um, just quote retweeting the original seasonal post saying, I believe like other legendary groups, Pokemon fans may eventually call these the four seasons. So obviously we have names for like the different kind of groups of legendaries. Um, trying to think of some off the top of my head. Like you got the Lake Trio um, for Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Uh, you've got the... Uh, I don't know, like the 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 genies and stuff. Uh, you know, like they just kind of give them a name and stuff. Um, but yeah, these could all be represented as like the seasonal Pokemon. Um, so yeah, grass, the life of spring, fire, the hot light of summer, ice, the icy winter, ground, the most loosely based, the colors of autumn. And then it goes on to say, obviously examples of other fan-made uh, names are like the Swords of Justice, the Legendary Beast, the Force of Nature, etc. So really interesting stuff. So yeah, I, I definitely think that these are all going to be based on seasons, especially because we know that the games are going to have like seasonal aspects to them. I think that that will be where the Legendary Pokemon are located and stuff like that. Uh, next up, we also have them uh, kind of talking more about this. So uh, we actually have Courage saying, to be honest, I don't think they'll be based on Four Perils. Maybe they'll just have a vague theme like hate, lust, anger, calamity, etc. I agree. If it's there, it will probably be very uh, light hints like dark side of them. But design wise, I don't think much either. I just do not think that they are related at all. In my opinion, the only hint you could give is Anomorous and the fact they are dark type. We should think another way. They could make this concept into future legendary mons in future generations. The forces of nature is also heavily based on Japanese kamis and just based on uh, Chinese mythological beasts. So again, quite a few theories and stuff on what the legendaries are going to be based on. Again, this is all leaked information. The actual legendaries have not been revealed themselves. Who knows if they're going to get revealed before Scarlet and Violet drop. You never know. Um, again, I'm recording this before any new information or anything like that. So um, again, very, very likely that they're going to be based on seasons. But again, I also really like the idea of them being kind of like trapped in objects and stuff. And you actually have to um, find these objects and release like the evil spirit, which again also makes sense because they're all based on dark types or they all have the dark typing. So I do like the evil spirit type uh, kind of theory, but I also like the seasonal uh, theory. And again, 
they could all just be molded together. It could be evil spirits that are like kind of in the different locations because of like the seasonal stuff. Um, but either way, that's all kind of the theory stuff about the legendaries. Let me know what your thoughts are on all of that. I really want to know what you guys have to say. Uh, finishing things off, this isn't really anything to do with the legendaries or anything like that. Uh, but we have this post from Kilios here saying, in yesterday's prize thank you message. So again, this was posted on the 16th of September. So I don't know if this was from like the Japanese Game Awards or something. Uh, Kazumasa Iwao said that those who played Pokemon via Pokemon Legends Arceus and enjoyed it will enjoy Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet just as much. Um, so this could mean like quite a few different things. This could firstly mean that there are quite a few uh, gameplay features in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet that were present in Pokemon Legends Arceus. We know of a few of them. Um, we know that you can evolve your Pokemon at any time. Um, we, we might be able to learn like moves at any time as well because there's obviously no NPCs in the game that relearn moves. Uh, there's quite a few features of Pokemon Legends Arceus in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And so they could be referencing that there. They're going to be like, if you liked all these features in Pokemon Legends Arceus, because they're in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, you're going to like these games as well. Uh, or it could just simply mean because, you know, if you just enjoyed the game, then Pokemon Scarlet and Violet better. I think it's more in line with the fact that there are similarities between the games though. And of course, the catching mechanic is completely different and it's going back to like old catching mechanic because that's something that I think needs to stay as a Pokemon Legends Arceus kind of unique thing because every time like I'm sure another Legends game will get released in the future and we can look forward to that kind of catching style again in, in like future games and stuff I think if they bring that to the normal kind of main games it would just kind of lose a massive aspect of Legends which made them so good but again they can obviously um, bring in the different features and stuff like uh, being able to take all your Pokemon out at any time like that's another feature that we can do because we've seen that in like the gameplay trailers for the generation 9 game So yeah could mean that obviously there's just a bunch of gameplay features coming back or it could just simply mean because it's the next game but whatever let me know your thoughts on that but either way that's going to be everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please do consider hitting the like button down below let's try and hit 500 likes leave a comment with your thoughts on everything we covered in today's video what are your thoughts on the legendaries what they could be based on etc uh subscribe if you're brand new ring the notification bell it's everything from me though have a fantastic rest of your day and until next time peace